Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to discuss interviewing with small family owned funeral homes and my experience interviewing at small family owned funeral homes. So this video is basically going to be uploaded to kind of give some insight on certain things that I feel like people should know when they are interviewing and things that I have come across that just caught me off guard and I feel like if people are a little bit more prepared they would better handle the, the situation and the interview itself. So one thing that I want people to know that when you obviously work at a or interview at a small family owned funeral home there is no HR in place okay so you are not coming into this corporate job I mean there are corporate funeral homes um, but if you are interviewing at a family-owned funeral home there there's no HR in place so during the interview you will be asked things that they probably aren't supposed to ask you for instance how many children you have are you married what's your nationality what so they they can't ask that a quick google search will inform you on the questions that employers are not supposed to ask you and it is actually illegal for them to ask you many times i have been asked if i have children one thing i i really believe that funeral homes like to do is really determine whether or not you are capable for the job and for some crazy reason they believe children if you have children it's like this thing that you can't do or because i always get that question do you have children do you have children and it's just it's like first of all you're not supposed to ask me that second of all what the hell does it matter if i do or not each time that i've been asked that i did answer and it has come to that point where i decided to look up questions that they're, they can ask and questions that they can't. And that was one of them that they cannot ask and it's illegal for them to ask. So I would, I, I think it's really important for you to know what they're supposed to ask you and what they're not. And once they ask, you can say, you know, according to state law, it is illegal for you to ask me those questions. So really be prepared and know your, your stuff. They can't ask you about race, color, natural origin, religion, sex, gender identity, sexual orientation, pregnancy status, disability, age or genetic information, citizenship, marital status, or number of children. I know now with the disability, they do list disabilities um, like on an application and you have to kind of disclose if you do have a disability. Citizenship, they do ask about um, if you're legally able to work in the United States. So um, just do a little Google, Google search. Just do a little Google search and just become acquainted with that list and be prepared. Another thing that I really believe people should know at the time of interview, which is a no-brainer, how much you are looking to be paid, either salary or hourly. You should know your worth, know the price you should be paid for the job. I remember going into an interview a few months ago and telling them a certain price that I thought should be paid and online when I applied it said a certain salary amount and I'm like okay I'll do a little in between these two numbers and it was like it was funny to the owner the numbers that I gave him and first of all he asked me over the phone what salary I was looking for and first of all that caught me off guard because I was driving and you're asking someone over the phone what salary they're looking for and then you kind of chuckle at the salary I give. I don't know, it was very informal. So be prepared, even if they give you, if they call you on the phone, be prepared for the questions that they will ask you. 
Side note, first year funeral directors, they should be paid 39 to 42,000. And that's an estimate from someone at the college that I attended told me. Another thing I really want to stress is talk about your skills and be confident in your skills. Don't let anyone make you small. And I'll explain. I went on an interview and the owner asked what my skills were. And I said, you know, I am bilingual. I speak Spanish. I, I'm a team player. I was just saying all of these, you know, skills that I have. And one thing I was like, but one of my passions and something that I'm very skillful at is applying makeup. And that's when the owner said, you don't apply makeup like me. You're not as good as I am. He said that. And I said, okay, well, we'll see who's better at makeup. We will see about that. It was a thing. Be confident and know that you are capable of doing the job. And don't let anyone down, downplay anything that you're saying. Um, another thing I would have to say during an interview, please, please dress professionally. And I mean professional, I mean 100% modest. No V-cut shirts showing cleavage, short skirts, don't wear a short skirt, don't wear a short dress, don't wear too high of a heel. I'm telling you, this is, the funeral industry is a different animal. Don't, don't wear a high heel. Wear like a kitten heel, um, very modest, very covered up. Um, that's just, that's just the attire. You know, you want to be respectful to the people that come into the funeral home. You want to be res respectful to the deceased, to the family. You want to be respectful to everyone around you. And you don't want to just cause any distractions, okay? So please do not go in there with a short skirt and high heels because more than likely you probably most likely will not get the job um always be well groomed they do want people to you know do your hair put your hair pushed back um or, or leave it down just nice and polished light makeup don't wear loud clothing you know black or black and white just muted clothing because that's just what it is you know um some people would probably go against what I'm saying right now. Oh, no, I can wear this. Okay, you can wear that. But here in Chicago, this is what I have come across. This is what they want. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And if you have any comments, just drop them down in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as I can. I hope that you all have a great week.